the 2022 Audi SQ7 this week and I absolutely love it because not only is it the family SUV for Audi, it's the three row SUV, it's the biggest Audi you can buy, but the SQ7 is the fun Q7. It has about double the horsepower. This one has the black package, which I adore. It looks so sharp. These sensors just blend right in. You have your SQ7 uh, badging on the front. These wicked headlamps. I absolutely love the way they uh, slide across kind of when you have your four ways on. We also have the performance brakes with red painted calipers. And of course you have S badging on the uh, brake calipers as well. And performance summer tires. We have, what I love is the auto lock sensors on all four doors. So if you have the key on you uh, and you just touch this, it's gonna lock the car for you, even front and back doors. That's not super common. We also have red brake calipers on the back, which I also love. Again, the really cool, very detailed back taillights. I love it. Again, S badging and quad exhaust. That sounds totally amazing. Let me start it for you. in the Audi SQ7 and I've really loved this car this week. I've driven it many, many, many hundreds of miles from LA to Las Vegas, back to LA, back to San Diego, and then back to LA again. So have a listen and watch this little corner of the dash or that little corner of the dash when I start it. So those are part of the $5,000 Bang & Olufsen sound system and it's amazing and I love how those little tweeters pop up. Now, did you also hear the engine rumble? It is a twin turbo four liter V8 getting 500 in horsepower and it sounds amazing. And of course I've been driving it in dynamic mode all week because that's my favorite. So let's have a look around. We have a beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel. Of course the S badging to show us that this is the performance Q7, the SQ7, a gorgeous clear digital dash with, of course, all the gauges available as well. But right now I have it in uh, navigation mode so we can see exactly where we are, exactly where we're going. We've got a head up display right there. And when I ask it to navigate, it's right there. When I ask it to navigate, it's also going to put that on that screen. So let's try Hey Audi navigate to Los Angeles Airport. Please wait one moment while I find destinations for you. Please choose a line number or provide additional search term. Would you like to start route guidance now? Yes. So now not only is it on my head up display. Feet, turn left, then immediately turn it's left. Also on my dash here in front of me. It's also on this top screen here. It's a pretty cool system. I've used it more this week than my Apple CarPlay navigation, which is what I typically default to, but I've really enjoyed the system. It's very cool. So let's see what else is in here. We have Apple CarPlay, nice full screen, really clear, and check this out. My phone is not connected. We have wireless Apple CarPlay, and although I've used my cord to charge my phone a bunch of times this week, I don't need it to use Apple CarPlay in this car. Very cool. So as you can see, we have two screens. This bottom screen is climate control primarily. So we've got dual zone. Actually, it's four zone because I've showed you the rear also has its own. We have heated and ventilated seats, which is kind of funny. You can actually have them both on at the same time. And I don't know why you'd want to do that. But we also have our drive select button here. And let's see. So right now we were in dynamic and I'm going to put it in off-road. So now the air suspension is lifting us right now. We've got off-road, all-road, comfort, automatic, and dynamic. And what I love and is not typical is if you put it in dynamic mode, which I did as soon as I got into this car, it stays in dynamic mode. I don't have to change it every single time I start the car. And that is how most cars work is that you have to change it every single time out of comfort mode into sport mode, but you don't have to with the Audi SQ7 because it's so cool. 
So let's check out a little more of the Audi system. So when I got in, these screens had haptic response when you press something. So if you press settings, you would have it would give you a haptic response. And I actually don't like that. So I went into settings to try and find out if I could turn off the haptic and just have it be a touch screen and it's right here. Haptic and acoustic feedback during touch input. I turned off the haptic feedback. So now these two screens are just touch screens. They don't give you a haptic response. So I love that flexibility. You can customize it how you like it. So it's your car and you can set it up the way you want it and love it. The other thing I will say I absolutely loved this week is the adaptive cruise control. I went to San Diego, like I said, I drove to Las Vegas and back and then I drove to San Diego and back. On my drive to San Diego, I had stop and go traffic on the highway for 45 minutes. And nobody likes sitting in stop and go traffic for 45 minutes. But when you set the cruise control on this bottom stock over here, it will stop and go for you. I did not have to use my feet on the brake or accelerator pedal for that entire 45 minutes. It just stopped and go went with the flow of traffic. And it was just so much more relaxing to be in traffic, not having to use my feet the whole time and just steer and pay attention and relax. And I listen to my music on this amazing Bang & Olufsen sound system the entire time. Okay, how many cup holders and charging points do we have in the Audi SQ7? Of course, we have two cup holders here in the front, a 12 volt. Inside this cubby, we have a wireless charging pad and two USB-C ports. For rear passengers, we have two more USB-C charging points and another 12 volt and two tiny little miniature cup holders here in the back. And then in the cargo area, we have yet another 12 volt. Okay, let's have a look at these rear seats back here and how much leg room there is. There isn't a ton in the third row. I wouldn't say it's really comfortable for adults. I'm only 5'1", I have a ton of room behind my driving position, but even if this was really far back, I would still have plenty of space. Obviously, you can see we have gorgeous soft leather seats. We do have four zone climate control. So back here when the car is running, the rear passengers can control the climate on both sides. We also have two USB-C ports down there for charging and a 12 volt. Plus we've got vents right here, hooks, and this crazy Bang & Olufsen sound system. This is a $5,000 option, but I absolutely love the sound system in here. And these seats in the second row, all three of them are on rails and go back and forth. Again, if you're using the third row for passengers, you're probably gonna have these all the way forward so that your rear passenger has enough space or if you have a car seat back there with a toddler, you're gonna want these all the way forward. But the convenience of having seats on rails in your second row just gives you so much more flexibility with your rear passengers. Plus, I love this Pano sunroof because your rear passengers get all the benefits of having the sun coming in and lightening up the entire interior. I love a good Pano sunroof. It's like one of my must-haves. And then you've got your center armrest with two cup holders and uh, a nice height for your outboard seats. All right, so we have just spent about a week in this car and my rear passengers, you know, we're, we've got coffees all the time, water's on the go. We did find these cup holders to be a little bit snug. They're a little bit small for certain items. They fit a little a small size bottle of water okay, but it's just something to keep in mind if you're gonna have adults with full-size cups. Okay, let's have a look in the second and third row of the SQ7. Yes, the Audi SQ7 has three rows. I've found it a little bit cumbersome. You have to put this seat down, then pull it all the way up. And let's see how much space there is. Okay, how much? Oh, watch those. Pull this up. Let's pull it all the way back. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I wouldn't want to sit in here for a very long time, though. Of course, we have windows, we have cup holders, no chargers back here, and speakers and lights. 
it's not bad. And yes, there are vents in the windows. All right, so I pull this little hoop, push this down, lifts this up. It kind of does it on its own. That's pretty cool. And then I just hop out. So it's not as cumbersome as I actually thought. This is pretty heavy to put down. One of the cool things about this SQ7 is that it has latch systems for child car seats in all five rear seats. And I love this luxury touch. These latch anchors are covered by cushion bolsters. So when you're not using them, these passengers back here are still comfortable with these leather covered bolsters. I will say if you have three car seats in use, you would use the middle, the outboard, and one in the rear because you need to leave one of the outboard seats in the second row clear for access to the third row. Okay, buttons, buttons everywhere. We've got electronically folding third row seats and we've got buttons here that you can use from both the both sides of the car, both sides back here have those buttons. And we also have a power lift gate, of course, but we also have buttons right here. Let's put that seat back up. There you go, that easy. Okay, there's another button here that raises and lowers the car so that it makes it easier for you to get in and out of the back or get cargo in and out of the back here because it actually raises and lowers the height of the car. That's the air suspension, which is also for off-road, all-road, comfort, and dynamic mode, which adjusts the height of the vehicle based on how you're driving. Off-road is gonna be higher, comfort, and dynamic is gonna be lower. Now let's talk about cargo space back here and conveniences. We have a little cargo net, which is really tiny. The only thing you're gonna get in there is a couple bottles of water. It's not really for groceries, but you do have a, a little hook and you have lights on both sides that are kind of hard to see, but helpful if you are unloading and loading in the dark. Under here, we do not have any additional storage. It's just mechanics, as you can see. Uh, Cargo space, 14 cubic feet back here behind the third row seats. And if the third row is down folded flat, we've got 35 cubic feet. The, um, the headrest just folded automatically for me. And that one did too. There we go, lots of space. And as you can see, the second row folds flat as well. So really, if you wanted to use this just to car haul a bunch of stuff or you're moving or you got bought a new bought some new furniture you can use the sq7 for that too and you get almost 70 cubic feet of space with all of the seats folded flat all right i've already mentioned that i've loved the drive it's really comfortable it's a great size for me even though it's a full-size SUV, it doesn't feel big to me. And I'm five foot one, and sometimes these full-size vehicles or these family SUVs, they make me feel really small, and this one does not. It's super comfortable. And I already mentioned it's the fun Q7. It's the SQ7. It has lots of power, 500 horsepower, 4-liter twin-turbo V8, which also means you're spending a little bit more on gas. But... Um, there is a bit of turbo lag. And what I mean by that is when you accelerate to merge or to pass someone, I experienced this a couple of times, it kind of hesitates and that's called turbo lag. But as soon as that's over, you are gone and you feel like you're flying. And it's really amazing because it growls too. So not only do you feel powerful and fast, I really love the sound of that power. driving the Audi SQ7 this week. All of those hundreds of miles I put on it. I love the fact that it's a free row SUV. My family would fit in it and I would love driving it. And especially on a road trip because you can just crank the music on the amazing sound system. Your kids will be happy because it's a comfortable ride. And I love the sound and the power and the acceleration and the fun driving dynamic of the SQ7. 
Let's talk about price for a second. This is a luxury SUV and it has a few options like the Bang & Olufsen sound system, the black package, the sport package, uh, and the prestige package as well. So this one, as tested, tops out around 106,000 US dollars or about 128,000 Canadian dollars. So it'll cost you a pretty penny, but you're gonna love the drive.